this is what it takes to be ambitious in this modern world today. You are con continuously fighting to keep going on your own path to self-discovery. We all talk about this idea of self-growth. I, for one, have an obsession with personal growth, to grow me as an individual, then to grow my business. I think many of us wish to explore this desire that God has put inside us, but we struggle to know how. We want to lean into it until we reach that point where there's nothing else to be curious about. I do very little else but chase this desire to explore, build, and create. I buy every book I can afford. I listen to every podcast that tickles my interest. I listen to audio books at every opportunity, in my car, whenever I'm at the factory, sometimes in my sleep. Yes, in my sleep. I check in to see how I'm feeling, how I've gotten better, see what isn't working, what does work, and then I repeat it. I check in weekly to score myself how I'm doing. I always say that whatever is not measured cannot be improved. It's a real commitment to my self-development. I question everything, every thought, every, every thought that is either good or bad. I put it into question. I'm always finding new and entertaining ways to keep the distractions at bay because there are a lot of distractions, guys, trying to rob us of our growth, trying to rob us of our intentionality, trying to numb us into conformity. This is what it takes to be ambitious in this modern world today. You are con continuously fighting to keep going on your own path to self-discovery. If not, you'll be pulled like debris on a shoreline, swallowed up and forced to go with the flow. But the flow is not that great. It may just land you where you do not want to be, where you never intended to be, unfulfilled and somewhat confused. This is what I imagine an, an unintentional life feels like. I, for one, want to be more intentional. What about you?